None of us is perfect. Each person has their own flaws. And as humans, whether by accident or intention, we all make different mistakes. We wish to always be the ones who receive luck and happiness, but we are often hindered by the wrongs we commit. Therefore, if we truly want to receive the blessings from above, we should pray every day to ask for forgiveness and receive mercy and grace. Today, take a moment to pray and ask Jesus to cleanse all your sins. He will surely listen and protect you. Start with a pure heart. Begin your prayers with the utmost sincerity. Entrust your sins to God and ask for His forgiveness. Heavenly Father, I kneel before you, asking you to allow me to do so, praying to you with utmost repentance and desire, longing for your forgiveness. Lord, I know that I have committed many sins, and I feel small and insignificant asking for your forgiveness, knowing that my wrongdoings are numerous and may not be worthy of your pardon. But I do not want these sins to widen the gap between you and me, so I still wish to come before you and ask you to purify my soul and erase the stains of my sins. Lord, I have not lived according to your desires and teachings, and at this moment I cannot make you proud of me. Lord, will I still receive your love? Even if you now look at me with judgment, punishment, or indifference, I have no right to be angry with you. I know this is what I deserve. Lord, I know that your love is infinite, but at this moment, I am not able to receive your love within me. Please let me confess all my sins to you and grant it to me only after I have taken actions to atone for all my wrongdoings. Only then will I be ready to receive your infinite love flowing into and spreading within me. I have engaged in actions and words that have not only hurt myself, but also those around me. I torment myself every time I make a mistake, feeling constantly inadequate when I hear criticisms about myself. I have rejected all good things that came to me because I always felt I was unworthy. I become insecure about myself whenever someone says, I cannot do something. I do not love myself enough, and I constantly hurt myself by caring too much about the gossip and judgments from others. But in the end, instead of healing myself, I have become a version of the people I despise. I end up playing the villain without realizing it, bluntly criticizing and disregarding anyone who fails to please me. Anyone who cannot achieve what I do, I look down upon. For those who are less fortunate or have unfortunate destinies, I express contempt and show disdain towards them, thinking that everyone must learn to endure emotions similar to those I have experienced. I have failed to appreciate the gifts and the abundant love that my family, friends and loved ones have given me. I have only received without giving anything in return, once taking their affection for granted, believing that they were obligated to love and give me the best they had because I had endured many ups and downs and deserved the best. But Lord, I know that I was wrong. I understand that no one is obligated to love me. The only one responsible for me is myself. When I receive love and care from others, it is also a form of blessing for me. I have come to realize that everyone deserves to be loved one way or another. For not only do I have difficulties and pain, but everyone has their own wounds, and they do not deserve to receive more disdain and indifference from me. I have continuously participated in unproductive conversations. I have judged and scrutinized those around me, looking for their faults and shortcomings. Instead of offering constructive criticism, 
I focused only on pointing out others' flaws without giving any sincere advice. All I did was engage in envy, jealousy, and comparisons, always measuring myself against others. I have lied many times just to benefit myself, shifting responsibilities that were rightfully mine onto others. I have fabricated stories to conceal my faults. Each time I made a mistake, instead of taking responsibility for my actions, I found ways to cover up and justify my wrongdoings, even trying to shift the blame to innocent people whom I considered weaker and too timid to defend themselves. There were times when I acted as if I was unaware of certain issues just to avoid taking any responsibility. Even when I went to church to pray, instead of praying sincerely and offering my heartfelt words and intentions to God, my actions were merely perfunctory. I used to think that simply being present at church without doing anything else would ensure that I received all of God's blessings. I once believed that even if I did not pray to Him but focused on doing whatever I wanted, I would still be a model Christian, deserving of God's love. Now, I have recognized all my mistakes and I sincerely desire to be forgiven by God, to cleanse all my sins and purify my soul. I vow to become a better person in the future, someone who brings not only happiness and joy to myself, but also to those around me. I pray to you, asking you to always be by my side and guide me to do what is right, to avoid all temptations and to overcome all the challenges in life. I also accept any punishment you may give me for my wrongdoings. I offer these prayers to you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.